So this time, let's get the real ending. I think this is. And I still. I think this is one big metaphor for a concussion, and that's why you can't go to bed. That yeah, that sounds about right. And everything happening in the house. So I still don't know how you're supposed to actually get to that safe. It just I just hit E until it works. See the key to the basement. So the trick to beating. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, the, um, Is that mannequin made of concrete. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I I've completely lost my train of thought. Um, the trick to beating the game is you need to go to the basement. Hi. Yeah, we haven't seen him in a while. So, trying the finally, it works. Let's oh, <laughs> it's the clumsiest asshole. A little Blair Witch design, and oh, hey, the spare mannequins. Oh, this is where the mannequins murdered the other mannequins and stored the bodies. <laughs> it's hard to tell with mannequins. Alright, you wait here long enough, or you stare at it long enough, and the wall will disappear. And welcome to Skyrim. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> oh, hi. Um, so, you been here long? If that shape turns into a giant baby. Oh, cool, I saw the beginning of Ghostbusters 2. And Ghostbusters 1. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> I need to see a doctor about my leg. <laughs> I don't think he can support me anymore. So I notice our battery meter's gone. December so, now we have time to actually read these things. I've been returning to that room in the basement then what every was day the fucking the point of having that? Feel better, more at peace. December yeah, 1984. It doesn't really add to the, the like intensity or anything. You It just means you're not going to absorb any part of the atmosphere and not get scared. You know, this game has a sequel that got kickstarted. December 25th, 1984. Uh, I think it asked for like 6,000 and made about 8,000. Give a damn about protecting me. So, Satan's I'm curious to see in that one if we have the same battery thing. Cuz this one takes place in the entire town. <laughs> oh, fun fact about uh, that Kickstarter, the guy who chipped in the most got a broken phone as his backer reward. I am not kidding. It's <laughs> a shattered phone. He also gets to be like the dog ending in Silent Hill, he's the one behind the scenes, but he also got mailed a shattered phone. If anybody reads this, I wow. apologize. So this, anything so this is telling us how to finish the game. The house, we have to destroy the house using the gas leaks. Stop this evil. Below the whole place that can come. Are you gonna make me fall over again? You're, you're totally gonna make me fall again, aren't you? Eventually, we're just gonna drool first. Yep, there we go. Well, it's not really falling when they're pushing you over. I'm on the ground again, for like the fifth time today. This sure would be scary if I could see anything. Dark scary. Alright, so now we gotta find wherever the gas thing is. And I don't remember this door being here before, but there we go. <laughs> I want to count down for the self-destruction of the house. And you have to run out window and slow motion and that. Do you notice the drool is coming straight at us when she has her head tilted back? Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> Why did it explode backwards? <laughs> the uh, 
mannequins are all very much more combustible than the gases. Those all exploded first. <laughs> yeah, never mind like the whole gas container or anything in the furnace. No, it's just three hours ago, we everything else inside the house blows the up house. except for the One furnace. One set of human remains was found in the basement of the home. The nature of the fire appears to be gas-related and purely accidental, though the matter will be investigated thoroughly by our department. The deceased has been identified. Purely accidental California. is Cooper. We don't give a shit. Well, they saw all the paintings. They're like, yeah, fuck this guy. Ironically, the only thing not to burn down the fire. Something like that happens. On a brighter note, the weather on the coast is set to keep the sun shining, which means this weekend will be the perfect so, weekend to go to the beach. I think that implies that since we destroyed the house, now the weather's good. I thought it was just more like, just an ironic. Nobody gives a shit about that you died or what happened here. So special thanks to the entire indie horror game community. People like us. Yes. You're welcome. We're the best part of the indie game horror community. Also, pay attention. Not associated with paranormal activity. <laughs> Special thanks to PewDiePie. Uh... Special thanks to Steam for some reason, even though they're never getting past green light. Wait, DJ Poltergeist? Yep. He's never named in the game, so... <laughs> I, I will accept that as just an inside joke. Well, yeah, the voice guy's DJ Morpher. Maybe that's also a DJ's as. <laughs> Inspired by... Well, gee, you couldn't tell. Everything. Inspired by... Casper the Friendly Ghost. Blatantly ripped off of... Except for Casper, there's no Casper in here. Nightmare House 2, I'm pretty sure that's a Flash game. I'm like 100 Wait, isn't that the Nightmare House 2? Isn't that that Flash game where it's like Freddy Krueger? I think so. I am pretty sure it is. I think Red Supreme actually did that one. Would not surprise me. So yeah, inspired by shitty Flash games on Newgrounds. And horror movies everyone has seen. And Casper. and Casper. Which is its own kind of horror. Oh man, so many people fucking back to my Kickstarter thing. Alright, here's your names. This is why put, getting like a name in the credits thing for Kickstarter is a bad idea, because anytime somebody beats your game, they have to go through that. Imagine that times like a hundred for, for like fucking Wasteland 2 or something. It's gonna be gigantic! Alright, good. Got all our Kickstarter buddies out there. We, uh, what? Oh, more people? Shit. Eyes, your names. You guys pay two dollars. Yeah, so imagine this like times, you know, what, 10,000, 100,000. <laughs> I, I imagine that Broken Age is gonna have like an hour's worth of credits. The credits are actually interspersed at the entire game, just to get it over It's with. a little ticker at the bottom. Are we done? Is that all of them? I think we're actually in the backyard in the game. Like, you can see, like, the fences there and the... This is the backyard of the game. Yeah. We're at the dog grave right now. That's where they buried us after they found us dead. Oh my god. Oh my god, you're a dog. That explains <laughs> the height, that explains having to sleep all the time. Only knocking stuff over and picking up, like, maybe one thing. You're a dog. And we'll continue the adventures of Horror Dog in the next game, eventually, someday. Maybe. Also, if there's an after credit scene, I don't know, because the game crashed right here. So, see ya. <laughs>